Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna play Snowbirds, which is an excellent print and play game. I've been playing it for days now. Uh, quite happy with it. Let me just uh, focus on the table and let's begin. Um, so uh, let me first uh, finish setting up. So I have my deck um, shuffled. So we're gonna pick nine random travel cards and we'll put the south card on the bottom so we're uh, traveling from the north to the south with our flock 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 of snowbirds so we're starting with five uh, birds in our flock uh, zero hunger and zero exhaustion unless we want to play the hard mode which we usually do in which case we'll start with two hunger and one exhaustion Alrighty, um, so how the game plays, we have the north right here where we are, and then we'll flip the next travel card, place it next to it, and this creates our path towards the south. Um, okay, that's too bright, let me switch over, there we go. Okay, so uh, when the two cards join, you see here it's uh, top two numbers create what is called distance, and they're together add up to nine, so distance is nine. Risk is seven and um, hunger is three. So basically we need to create nine uh, travel. Okay, let me draw our hand. Here we go. So we have to create nine of the flight, which is right here on the cards. So for example, if we play the five and a four, that's enough flight. Um, the other side of the card is forage, that will give us food, decrease our hunger. And we can also play the card face down, and that will uh, rest, decrease exhaustion. And we have two dice right here, which are against the risk. So we're going to see what each thing does. So first thing is if we want to rest or not. If we want to, we have to play a card face down. Let's say we want to. So I'm going to play the two face down and that's going to decrease our exhaustion to zero. Do we want to forage? Um, let's say I need nine. Let's say no. Let's say no. So we're not going to look for food. Since our hunger is here uh, at 2, below it is a modifier for distance. So whatever the distance is, it's plus 1. So now we have to play 10. So I'm going to play the two fives for the 10. And that's enough to fly this route. Next on the cards we have 3 and a 4, so 7. That's the risk. If we had any exhaustion, we would add that modifier also. So what we have to do is roll um, 7 or higher. And we have 8, so that's good enough. And now uh, we can move. Once we move, we got a little bit hungry, so hunger is going to increase by 3. Well, that, doesn't, that wasn't very smart. Okay, so hunger increases by 3. We can only do 2, so one bird starved to death already. <laughs> okay. Um, now we can draw new cards, so we're going to draw our hand back up, and we're going to draw the next path. And on this uh, card it says plentiful food, so if we do look for food, uh, we're going to get an extra one of food. So we're not going to rest because exhaustion is zero for food, um, it's at Hunger is at 4, so if we do 3, okay, so we'll play this 4 flight card for 3 food, plus 1 is 4, so we're going to go down to 0. For distance, we need 8, so let's play uh, 3 and 5. Risk is 7. We got 9, so that's good. Now we can move. Hunger increases by three. Okay, and I think that is all. So I can draw new cards. 
new path. Okay. We're not going to rest. Um, hunger. So here we see a limited food. So we can only forage two in the next style. So I want to stack up on food. We're at three. Okay. Well, let's play uh, these two. So we forage four. So it's going to go down to minus one. So we're really stuffed. Uh, the distance is four. So I'm going to play one of the fours for the distance. Risk is seven. Seven. That's good. And we can move. Hunger increases by one. Good. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the deck is uh, limited, so uh, we can only draw it once. Once we play out all the cards, if we didn't get to the uh, end, to the south, we lose the game. So we have to play the cards as efficiently as possible. Okay, so... Hunger is a zero, exhaustion is a zero, so let's just fly. We got seven. We'll play um, four and three for the flight. Risk is eight. We got five. Um, well, we could play this card. As you see, they have a dice um, in the middle, so we can exchange this two for this five, and that would make it an eight. So we don't fail the risk. Whenever you fail the risk, you have to move the exhaustion by one. Okay, so we move, hunger is two. All right, we made it to the next stop. Let's see what happens next. And we'll draw our hand. Okay, so here distance is seven. I can play a five and a two. Hunger is a two. We get plus one for forage. So I'm going to play this one. One plus one is two. Brings me down to zero. Mm -hmm. I'll play the seven for flight. And risk is eight. Let's see. Seven. I'll play one of the cards to switch the two for four so we can pass that and we move hunger increases by two and we can draw next cards so you can play a card to change the die you lose a card for that or you can next turn play it face down to rest um, the only difference is the scoring so, um, every face down card is minus one point. Face up cards um, are not anything, but you, you know, I just lost four flight because of that. I could have played a face down two maybe next turn. So, preserve some flight, but the score goes down. So, the game is easy to win, relatively easy. I don't know on the hard mode, but on the normal mode is easy to win. But getting a decent score is very hard. So I'm hoping to get a positive score. Alrighty, let's see the next path. Okay, and I'll draw my hand. There it goes. Okay, distance is 8. Hunger is two. I can play three. Okay, let me play three. Three forage to stuff myself. I'll play eight, six, and a two for the distance. Um, risk is nine, so. Oh, I got three. Okay, we're just going to take the loss, so, because I only have the re-rolls, so I have to play both of these, so I'd just rather play one card face down, and now we can move, 
hunger increases by two. Alrighty, there we go. I'm gonna have to uh, move these back because we're running out of space. Let's see the next one. Okay, getting close to the end of the deck. So uh, distance is six. Six. I can only forage two. So one of these. And I should probably rest. So I'm going to play a card face down to rest. Forage two. And flight six. Okay, we can now move. Risk is eight. Seven. Well, I think that's worth the risk. Is it? Yeah, let's let's play it. So it's so the R means I can re-roll a die. So let's do that. Come on, I need a three. I need a three. One. Well, I'm already in, so let's play another. Oh come on! That's some crap. Alrighty then. Um, this might cost me a lot. So uh, we move to the next spot. Hunger increases by two, and exhaustion by one because we failed the risk. Next card. Draw my hand. Okay, I only have one card left in the deck, so probably should focus on just flying because um, <laughs> distance is nine. If I don't eat, so there's a storm on the horizon, so we have to hurry. So that means any card we play before the flight cards will increase the risk by one which probably shouldn't matter anyways but okay let's just fly i don't know what what's uh next card so we'll just fly actually the distance is plus one if we don't eat whatever i do is not good all right let's go 10 then i'll play 10 flight that's going to be enough to travel. Risk is uh, 10. Fail. And hunger goes up by 3. And we draw a la last card. So this is all we have. Okay. Here distance is 6. We can play that. But it's plus 2. And I know the south has three right here, so that's going to be six also. So I could play, I could forage, I guess, first. If I play these two for forage, that's too much. I have to keep something for flight. So I'm going to forage three. Okay. No, that's not going to be good enough. Oh, wow. Really stuck now. Okay. Give me a second to think about it. Okay, so here's what's happening. Um, this distance is 6. This one is also going to be 6. Um, my distance modifier is plus 2. So that's going to be 8 if I don't eat. So I can do that. I have eight and I have some more here. So I can travel safely. Uh, hunger is going to increase by two here. So I'm going to lose two birds. Hunger is going to increase once here. So I'm going to lose another bird. And I'm going to be down to one single bird. If I fail uh, one of the risk tests, I'm going to lose another bird and lose the game. <clears throat> if I eat once, my modifier is going to be plus one, then I would need seven, so I can play these two cards. But then the other modifier is going to be 
plus two, so it's gonna be eight, and I don't have that. So I can't make it if I eat. I can only make it if I just fly and hope to pass both risks. So that's the gist of it. So let's go for it. So plus two modifier, I'm gonna have to play eight <clears throat> to travel, nothing else. And risk is eight plus two is 10, which is gonna be impossible. Near impossible. Nine. Well, you know, 10, yeah, I don't have enough, I just don't have enough, so lose a bird. Hunger goes up by two, lose two more birds. Okay, and last card, the south. Distance is six, plus two is eight, I have to play both cards. And that's gonna cost me one hunger. If I eat three, it's still gonna be plus one, then I won't have enough. If I eat four, it's gonna be zero, but then I only have five. So whatever I do, I lost. So I'll play the two flight cards. Move. Let's see the risk. Okay, six plus two, eight. Seven. And my last, uh, last bird just died. Okay, well, that was the hard mode, so um, I'm okay with that. I was pretty close. And there we go, that was the Snowbirds. Very fun, very nice looking game. Um, lovely how the cards uh, can be played in uh, several different ways. Forage, flight, risk, or rest. So quite nice. Um, as I said, the game is uh, not too hard to win on the normal mode, a bit harder on the hard mode, but getting that score, getting the positive score or a really good score, that's where the uh, beauty of this game lies. Because um, uh, once I played it the first time on normal mode, I, I went through and made it to the end, but my score was negative one. Next game, negative three. <laughs> Next game, negative four. So it kept getting worse. But then uh, after I gave it some thought and some strategizing, some planning, um, then I managed to figure out a better way to score more points. And I think uh, my last game was four points. So and that was pretty good. So definitely interesting game. I'm going to keep playing this one for uh, days to come. <laughs> very lovely um, easy to play so I'll leave the links for you guys if you want to try it out go in the description below and that is all from me today thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one